I ain't gonna lie. I don't know if I can talk about that right now, man. My head all over the place. Um, it's thankful for my teammates, you know, my coaches. Um, you know, they believe in me, have, you know, all the confidence in the world that, you know, I can go and, you know, make the right play. And, you know, tonight uh, they were looking for me. And like I said before, as I got close, they told me to, you know, go ahead and go get it. So that's why y'all see every time they got the ball, they was looking for 12, man. <laughs> So a lot of credit goes to them. You know, without them, I wouldn't be in the position I was in. Uh, You know, they allowed me to get to my spots with, you know, how well they can, you know, score the ball. So, At what point did you realize that that was a possibility? Were you – did you know you had 39 at the end of the third? Or were you – when did you sort of find out that that was a a chance? Oh, Yeah. I was, I think it was, I was talking to X and he said it, that I had 39. And I think at the time, uh, you know, we, we had a, you know, a decent lead and, you know, I trust, you know, the guys on my team, you know, when I'm off the floor, you know, to, you know, keep us uh, with the lead and also boost it. So um, I honestly, you know, didn't know how it would play out if, you know, I would come back in the game or not. Um and, you know, coach sent me back, and I think uh, I had, like, 44. And Tyus came and told me. He was like, man, you know, go ahead, go get three layups. And then I'm like, man, I'm shooting the ball well right now. What about two threes? And then everybody was like, just run. We're going to look for you. So I listened, and, you know, I scored the ball. So. <laughs> hey, Ja, I know beginning of the season, one of your goals was make the all-star team, you know, with the success of the team, what would it mean to you if you make one of the first three all NBA teams? What would that mean to you, man? Oh, uh, it means a lot. Uh, but you know, like I've been saying before, you know, without my teammates, it, it wouldn't be possible. So um my main, you know, motto is, you know, just focus on today, you know, handle my business. And, you know, as long as we, you know, continue to win, uh, everything else fall, you know, in line. And um, you know, I tell the team, you know, the same thing. Uh, you know, once we started winning games, uh, more people, you know, started watching us. Um, we start, you know, being in the, you know, top rankings, uh, you know, the teams in the league, getting more TV games. And that's just from, you know, how hard we play and, you know, us winning basketball games. And, you know, with that recognition, you know, we had, you know, now Jaron in the, you know, defensive player of the year talk. Uh, Dez, you know, making rising star and me being an all-star. Uh, so just got to continue to handle business, take it day by day and, you know, let it play out. Um, and yeah, so hopefully I make it, but, you know, I'm focusing on, you know, winning uh, right now. Shot two questions for you. One, I, I know you so said don't want to talk about it. You're not ready to talk about it, but I got to ask like that moment where the whole crowd is standing you have the ball in your hands. I know it didn't end up you scoring, but you score in the scramble afterward. Like, what what was that like? No, none of us will ever experience something like that. I'm curious it was crazy, like. uh, honestly. You know, I felt like, you know, a little bit of pressure. It was like, man, you here now. You you, you got to get it. And, uh, I think what it was, Jaron, you know, got a loose ball and uh, threw her cross court to me. And uh, Steve-O, you know, being inside the paint, uh, their big kind of stepped up and I just jumped around, you know, made the layup. Um, bless, man. And then is you've had several of these big games, scoring games against the Spurs. Is there anything about this matchup or just playing them that, or is it just kind of random that you've had huge games against them several times? Uh, I mean, I attack every game the same way. Uh, no matter, you know, the opponent, I just try to read the defense and, you know, take what the defense is giving me if it's, you know, me scoring or my teammates scoring. And I felt like, you know, tonight they was trying to, you know, stay home to the shooters and, you know, not allow, you know, everybody else to, you know, kind of get going. And, you know, I just took advantage of it. What did the uh, scene in the locker room look like afterwards? Taylor, when he got in here, he was soaking wet. Yeah, me too. That's on my hair like this. Now I got to (laughs) call, got to call my hairstylist and, you know, try to see if I get my hair done in the morning. Um, trying to get my hair to dry. It's hey, John, crazy. I know you're a man of repetition. You do everything the same. You have 40-something one game and 50 the next game. What are you going to do different, you know, routine-wise, and maybe you get something better next time? 
Um, no. Do my normal, you know, pregame stuff. Uh, you know, getting shots up in the morning uh, before shoot around. You know, going to shoot around, lock into, you know, the game plan. Uh, go home, eat, take a nap, wake up, eat, come to the gym, do my normal, you know, walk through uh, with my hoodie on. Come to the locker room, sit in the locker, get dressed. Go to the table, you know, get my treatment and stuff and, you know, come out, do my pregame shoot, come back to the back, do the team meeting. And I come out, you know, right before the captain uh, called and do the captain, warm up a little bit and get ready for the jump ball, man. You know, attack every game the same way, uh, you know, no matter if I'm playing, you know, good or bad. So you give the jersey to Devontae at the end. Uh, do you have plans on keeping that or putting that anywhere in your house? No, nah, that's or? his. Oh, you're giving it to him? Yeah, before the season, he told me, you know, uh, your first 50-point game, I want your jersey. And uh, tonight was my first. Uh, so, you know, that's his jersey. You know, I sign it. That's my brother. Everybody knows that, you know. Uh, grew up together since we were seven years old. Uh He'd be everywhere with me. <laughs> he was actually in the suite tonight, my family suite. And I guess once I got close, I look over to the side and he made his way to the floor. So uh, that's his jersey, man. Before, when you got that buzzer beater, uh, when you see the ball, I mean, Steve, Steve Nance threw it the whole length of the court. When you see that ball in the air, just just what's, what's going through your mind? I mean, do you think you could probably ever make a play like that again? And then secondly, uh, Taylor Jenkins was just in here. He said you'd probably, you know, be the quarterback on the team. But do you think you got some wide receiver skills too? Oh, uh, for sure. Uh, I'm only a red zone guy, though. <laughs> Fake. <laughs> Fade route, jump ball, me, man. I ain't doing no quick slants, cutting across the middle, none of that. Just, I'm either going deep or, you know, a little fade route. But, uh, you know, during that time, I, I think uh, we fouled. Uh, and, you know, Steve-O looked at me and was like, go. And, you know, I just listened. And my message to him was just put it by the rim and I, you know, try to make a play. And at first, I was about to take off, you know, going yeah, see through it. And then I just read the ball and, Probably, you know, did something I probably won't be able to do again. I guess it was just one of those nights how the game was going. You know, I was making shots, very confident. And uh, great pass by Steve-O. Uh, you know, I made the shot.